Okay, we're looking at um, mixed exercise nine from the first year core textbook, and we're on question 18, which I think is the last question, yay. Um, okay, oh, let's sort that out. Um, okay, so what are they telling us? So, so right, so they're introducing a real life element to this one. Um, and so we, we're talking about a series of sand dunes. Um, I don't think it really affects the question until we get onto part C. Um, fact that they've, they've given a real life context. So it's a sine curve um, and it's a very squashed in sine curve because that's going to be um, uh, the sine curve but stretched by a scale factor of 1 over 60 um, in the x direction. So don't forget when there's, a, when there's a, a, a multiple of x or there's a coefficient there it actually squashes it in. Okay right but luckily they've only asked us to sketch it between 0 and 24 because otherwise that could be a bit of a nightmare trying to trying to fit too much of that curve in. Okay, so just to, to really be clear, I'm gonna just start with a sketch of the normal sine curve. So normally sine would go between, um, uh, well, so I would have x intercepts at um, 180 and 360. So if that's being squashed in by scale factor of, um, uh, ones, uh, of one, one over 60, so basically I'm gonna do 180 divided by 60, that intercept, will become three and that intercept will become six if I divide each of those by 60. So that just lets me think about, well, how many cycles am I going to get in then um, if I've got to go up to x is 24? Well, six times four is 24. So I just need to fit four cycles of the sine curve. So let's just try to get the most regular curve one two I think I've about just about got space let's get that on there okay um yeah and I think that they're not going to be you know getting out a ruler and, and sort of um uh checking everything's at the same height but now I've sketched that I definitely think my, my first part of that curve is, is a bit too low compared to the rest of it so let's just get that oh, now it's too high but I think yeah I think I'd be okay um I've clearly got to try, you know, the, the shape of the curve is, is clear. Um, and yep, yeah, so let's just label on those intercepts. So so basically that's going to be three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. I don't I don't really need every single one labeled, but then it does just help me check that assuming my logic is all correct. Um I have gone up to 60, sorry, up to 24. You always label the, the curve it is that you've sketched. Um, write down the number of sand dunes in this model. Um, okay, so X is the length of, so sorry, now this is where we need to go back and read the actual question. So um, X is the length of a series of sand dunes in meters. And, and this is the cross section, right? Sorry, that's what I need to read, right? So basically, this, this is what the sand dunes look like. Okay, so we've kind of already answered this question then. How many sand dunes are there? Well, I would take that as one sand dune, that is two, that is three, and that is four. So now we're really just, so that was my answer to part A. So B, there are four of them. And then C, give one reason why this model may not be realistic. Yeah, they, they, they are asked that quite a lot in these real life questions, whether they're trig or whatever they're about. Um, and yeah, I mean, that looks like a lovely neat set of sand dunes, but I imagine in real life that's, that's highly unlikely. So I think it's, it is unlikely. Um, so I'll just put it's unlikely the sand dunes are all the same height. So it's just, yeah, it's unlikely they're all um, exactly the same as each other. Um, it doesn't mean it's, it's a bad model, as long as they're not way off it. it you know, still a model we can use, um, but yeah, it's, it's unlikely that they uh, that they all, that they all look exactly like that. Okay, end of exercise, yay. Yeah.